Yes, Pastor Kevin, we'll take your time out. I'm here at James River High School. James River defeats Bath County High School in an epic battle tonight, three games to two. I'm here with Coach Easter, head coach of the Lady Knights. Now, Coach, seems like Bath County came out and really seized the momentum right away, taking game one. What were you thinking when, uh, very unusual, the Knights kind of fell behind early in the match? That's a little stressful. We're not very... Um, we're not actually used to coming down in the first match at all. And so it was a little nerve-wracking for them, but they kind of turned around, especially picked up the momentum about halfway through that first set and came back to a really close game. And obviously one game's two and game three. Looks like James River was going to be able to put away in game four. And then uh, Bath County comes back and wins game four. Really a close battle. We go to the fifth and final game, and right out of the bat, James River kind of seizes control momentum. Great serving there in the fifth game by Renee Smith. Smith, talk about her effort a little bit. Renee's been re working really, really hard this week. Um, her serve had been off in practice, especially on Monday, so we were getting a little concerned about it. She worked really, really hard Wednesday on serving right, and she just put the ball where it needed to go. Now, when you talk about serving, it seemed like as a team, as a whole, James River kind of struggled tonight with their serves, and quite frankly, that kind of allowed the Chargers to stay in the game a little longer than probably what was necessary. I know that's something you've been working on on practice. Is there anything technique-wise, or do you just think it's a mental thing that the Knights are struggling with? It's mostly mental. We have a really hard time right now thinking that, oh, I've got to get my serve in, I've got to get my serve in. When you're thinking about your serve, it takes a lot more effort to get it in. So we need to clear our heads in, put the ball where it's supposed to go. Obviously a big victory here against uh, the rival Bath County Chargers. Now looking ahead, it's always good to get that first district win under your belt. But looking ahead, who else do you see in the district that you uh, see so that could be maybe a concern for the Knights? We're very, very concerned about Covington's play right now. They started off the year very strong and played some really great teams and come out with wins in all of them. So we know that they've got some really great blockers and a great setter that's going to put the ball in their hitters' hands. And so obviously there's Covington and obviously you've got Pierre McCord next week and Craig County and then a matchup toward the end of the year with Highland. Obviously getting this win must really give the Knights some momentum going forward as they continue into district play. Uh, what do you think there's something the Knights need to work on to really improve as we go forward? I think we've got to pass much better than we've been passing right now. Our serve receive has been struggling and so have our serves. So we've been spending a lot of time focusing on that on practice and we're going to continue to do that in the next couple of days. Well, obviously the girls were quite resilient there in the fifth game. Talk about uh, the effort that the Knights had there. Really, obviously the home crowd was behind them, but really it looked like they just kind of wanted it a little more there in the fifth game. We came out swinging hard in that first game, that fifth game, and mostly it was because of how strong we wanted to win. We actually had one of our seniors look at us and say, this is our senior year and we're not losing to them in our gym. So they put it together and they made it happen. Well, congratulations to James River High School, victorious over Bath County High School, three games to two here at Knight's Gym. This is Pastor Kevin with Take a Time Out. Be sure and catch more videos on our website, www.takeatimeout.org.